I won't bore you with the basics of a beginning. You probably know the story already. It always happens the same way. We're all from Hope's Peak. We were all roped into a situation we didn't want to be in. But we'll start where things start to diverge. Where our hell begins. We were all in our second year at Hope's Peak Academy. I didn't really know anyone in my homeroom class because I spent most of my time out and about, practicing and honing my talent. My homeroom teacher was really good about that. So long as we sent her a few updates throughout the day, that was our attendance. Plus, she was really good about being able to tell when you're bluffing. But still, every couple of weeks, we'd have a homeroom-wide mystery competition. There would always be something to the effect of... Dearest students, tonight I have a special game planned. Fairy lights will decorate the walls of my homeroom starting on Monday. Sixteen of them have special notes attached to them. These will help you for your talents pop quiz on Friday, if you can decipher them. If you show up to the gardening club Tuesday afternoon, I will give each of you a special code ring to decipher to clues even easier. All I ask is an hour devoted to helping the campus look beautiful as ever. Many thanks, Miss Kana. So we all thought when we got text on that next Thursday, it was another one of Miss Kana's challenges. But then, it wasn't. Instead, Kasumi Aihara, the girl with the perfect family. Your photography has touched the hearts of many adoring fans, and your mother truly appreciates you helping the family. But how would your adoring public feel if they learned about their beloved photographer's addiction that she's yet to kick? Meet me at the northern section of the Hope's Peak Courtyard tomorrow at 6, unless you want to be discovered. M. I scrambled to respond. Who are you? What do you want with me? I tried so many ways to get this person, this mystery M, to respond to me. But I got nothing. I called the number, but was met with a disconnected service tone. So, what other choice did I have? I had to go. When I arrived at the northern section like I was told, I met with a few faces I had seen before, once or twice, in Miss Kana's homeroom. But faces never stuck with me. A girl with silver streaking hair, purple hood pulled tightly over her head as she played on her phone, popping some gum as she glared at me. A mysterious figure with an interesting fashion sense. They wore a Hawaiian shirt, a pair of jean shorts, and fishnet leggings staring into the sky lazily. And a girl in a puffy cream shirt, a green skirt, and with a hat wider than her entire figure, maybe even big enough to shelter all four of us from the rain, should a storm pop up. Four of us, then. What number to choose? You think I chose this shit? Who was it that sent me that text? Sure wasn't me, darling. I was just as frightened as you. I wanted to write up and transfer like Not a- Not again. You're insufferable with your phrasings. Um, pardon me, but you said a text message. They all turned to look at me, a flash of surprise crossing each of their faces. So, you got one too? From that M- Trying to stir us up about a secret or something? Yes, exactly! That's why I'm here. They threatened to leak a secret out, so I'm here to prevent it. Well, isn't that a fucking coincidence? Well, someone here's gotta be the cause, you know? Are you trying to put the blame on us? I ain't done shit! How would they even know how to contact us all so remotely? Just tell me where to aim, and I'll hit the mark. The aggressive one then drew a dagger from her boot twirling it between her fingers with a dexterity I've never seen before. It sent a chill down my spine. I decided I would try to lighten the mood. Uh, so, who are all of you? I'm sorry, I don't remember anyone from class very well. Call me Storm, that's all you'll get out of me. Name's Amane Yasuda, but everyone calls me Haley. I'm the ultimate storm chaser. Omi Tominoga. 
call me Blue Gloss. Lest we have a problem later down the line, lass. Kasumi Aihara, ultimate nature photographer. Amane, no. Haley, a storm chaser. Umi, I don't think she could be anything but a pirate based on that attitude. But Storm? I can't seem to place her talent. Shit, I think I see someone else. Who is that? I looked to where she was pointing and saw a duo walking towards the western inn. A woman with brown hair wearing a green jacket and a shorter woman with a black jumpsuit with deep red hair. They both looked like they were in a hurry. That's right. It's 558. But, but we're supposed to be at the northern section. They're going- To the west. Must be something of value over there. No way in hell I'm going over that way. I'm staying right the fuck here. How about we give it till the time is up, and if there's no M in sight, we go take a look where the two little ladies wandered off. That sounds about right. But I can't shake this ominous feeling. There's something horribly wrong here. But still, the next two minutes dragged by in an agonizing silence. Haley kept looking at their phone, counting the seconds as they went by. Storm silently continued playing her game, Umi impatiently stomping back and forth along the worn brick path. When six o'clock hit, right on the mark... All right, y'all. Looks like that M ain't showing up after all. Might we start heading over to those other ladies? Hold up. Gotta save first. With the smack of her gum, Storm took her time to save the game, meticulously enter in the password for her phone, and then gave us a loathsome glare as we all began wandering down the path and back towards the western side of the building. But, before we even passed to the main doors... <laughs> oh, shit! The hell? It happened all at once. An explosion roared like a lion from atop its perch on the lumbering structure above us. Systematically, each floor of the academy, from the top down, was being blown up. Rubble and glass came flying down, and the four of us all ran in different directions, trying to dodge the debris. A flame engulfed in the main hall from the doorways, which had flung open and pushed out tattered and burning flyers our way. Clubs and sports, theater and extra credit opportunities, all fluttering by us as we stared in horror. Storm was the first to speak up, having been relatively unharmed by the debris compared to the rest of us. Oh my god! You guys! Hope's Peak is- Before she could finish her sentence, a sinister laugh echoed through our ears, piercing the sounds of crackling foundation and the destruction of our second home. <laughs> a brick, one not unlike what we often saw splattering along the window sills of our classrooms, began falling down dangerously close to our heads. Damn these brats! Stay still! Isn't it enough spectacle for you to kick off a wonderful rebirth? While we were all distracted by the voice from nowhere, we forgot the real danger. Haley was the first one downed by the brick. Then Umi. Storm and I began running towards the building, attempting to get shelter from the assault. And yet... Kasumi! Behind you! It was already too late. Two figures... One emerging from each side of the door frames lunged for us and wrestled us to the ground before putting rags over our mouths. Before I lost consciousness, I had one more fleeting thought. Is this the way I die? And unfortunately, it only got worse from there. <laughs> <laughs>